Hi there first graders. Today we're going to be making a tree that looks kind of wintry. It's going to be a tree without leaves. So you're going to be painting using black paint on a white paper and you are going to create a tree that has um, a lot of branches on it and we're going to need some spaces because we're going to be color mixing next week to create some new colors around our tree. So the first thing you're going to do is write your name in the corner of your paper and I apologize that my paper is so tall we're gonna make a big tree today so I want to have a nice big paper so I might have to move it around a little bit so my name is on my paper I'm gonna flip it over to the other side now I'm going to fold my paper in half since my paper is tall I'm taking the bottom and I'm moving it up to the top touching it to the edge and then making a crease down at the bottom then I'm going to open up my paper and now you will see there's a crease in the middle that will show me how tall my trunk of my tree needs to be. So the trunk of the tree is very large and it holds up all the branches. So we're going to make a nice thick line going from the middle here down to the bottom and it's going to be a vertical line which means it stands up and down. So I'm just going to start by dipping my brush in the paint trying to keep the silver part clean because I don't want to have to wash all those brushes that way. Try to keep it on the hairs. I don't need to stir my paint because it's just black. And I'm going to make a line in the middle, starting from that fold and going down. Does that look like a very strong tree? I didn't think so. I think we need to make it a little bigger. So I'm going to dip again. If I get too much paint, I can touch it to the side of that container, keeping it inside that one spot because we're going to use these again later with other colors. And I'm just going to make my trunk a little bit more strong. So I'm going to make it a little bit wider at the bottom to hold up that tree. I'll put some over here on this side. Notice I dipped my brush again. If you go up past that fold just a little tiny bit, that's okay. But remember, the top part's going to be for our branches. So we want to leave some space there. So now that I've spread out my paints, I want to get this part over here a little bit better. That looks like a much stronger tree trunk than the last picture or the beginning line that I made. So I'm making a nice thick line that is wide and it is also vertical so it goes from the bottom to the middle of the paper. Now I'm going to start making some branches and the branches are going to be a little bit thinner than the trunk because they're up in the air. They're not going to need to be super duper strong. So I'm going to make one branch going straight up from the middle of my tree up to the top. There's one branch there. Now I'm going to put two branches on each side so I have a total of five branches on my tree. So I'm going to make one go this way. And then I'm going to make one go to the side here, kind of close to that fold there, that crease. Now I'm going to make my tree symmetrical, which means I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to make a one here, and I'm going to make another branch here. Now if your branches aren't exactly symmetrical, that's perfect because no tree is the same. Um, after this, you're going to, let me move that down a little bit, sorry about that. After this, you're going to make your branches look a little bit more like branches instead of straight lines. So some branches are a little bit curvy, so you might want to change your branches to be a little bit curvy. I like to do that with mine so I can make them a little bit thicker and curvier. Just like that. Some branches start thick at the bottom down here and then they get thinner at the top the farther they go out. So you can do that as well. And some of you are probably thinking, well, Ms. Pelavon, some branches have even smaller branches coming off of the big branches. Can we make those? And the answer is not yet. We're going to save that for next time. We're going to add that on top of our colors that we're going to add. After your black tree is finished, you're going to take your paper to the drying rack. If you feel like you need to wash your hands, the sink is open and you are all done with your awesome tree. Now there's um, six spaces around your tree, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to be mixing the colors of the color wheel. So after you're done, take a look over the closets in Ms. Palavon's room 
to see what the color wheel looks like because we're going to be making some of those colors next to our class.